What are you doing here? Kimasabi, I need you. They're coming. I can feel it. Look, I'm retired, okay? I'm happy. We are happy. You haven't killed anybody in months. That's a positive thing. If it makes you feel better, bring the girl. Not bring in the girl. Don't bring the girl where? Red 2 is a madcap action comedy with a stellar cast. Red stands for retired and extremely dangerous, and those who've seen the first movie know that this is no exaggeration. The Red Team consists of old black ops special agents led by Bruce Willis. It's all woven together with, with romance and action and comedy and, and a bunch of funny people and a bunch of um, action people and, and great, great actors who just show up and bring um, great, big, funny, laugh out loud scenes to it. Yeah. MI6 has just given me a contract to kill you. Apparently you're number one on Interpol's most wanted. What did you say? It's important to enjoy life while you still can. Besides Bruce, some other actors from the first film make a reappearance, such as Mary Louise Parker, John Malkovich, and Helen Mirren. The latter plays an elegant but ass-kicking action granny who took inspiration from the most unlikely person while preparing for the role. Martha Stewart was my inspiration in Red One. Um, someone who is just really good at what she does. I can absolutely see Martha Stewart as being a secret agent somewhere or other. Helen Mirren might fight like a pro, but she isn't the only one engaging in all-out violence. The action spectacle also features some new faces. It has so many elements. It has the action, it has the poignancy, and it has so much comedy in it. it it's, a, it's a slightly different film from the first one. It just seems, uh, yeah, just bigger and stronger and, and funnier and more action and more dramatic at the same time. As if the red team doesn't already have enough psychopaths in its ranks, they also get help from Mr. Hannibal Lecter himself, Sir Anthony Hopkins. I don't want to give too much away, but I want to deceive the people who rescue me. I want to, he outmaneuvers them. He's 10 moves ahead of them all. And, uh, but they think he's completely off his trolley. But in fact, he's completely sane, or really so sane he's insane. He's a brilliant genius, you know. Do you remember where Nightshade is? Oh, yes. Now, oh, this feels right. It's around here somewhere. I'm sure this time. Everything looks different. Maybe so it is. It's been hours. Yeah, hours. this is it. In the first movie, Willis's character Frank ended up with Sarah. In the second part, they embark on another adventure, although this isn't quite what Frank had planned for. He has now made the decision that he has to retire, and it's a good thing, even though he doesn't really believe it, because he has to keep her safe. Um, and he can't involve her in his life, and he can't have the life he used to have. She, on the other hand, is bored as hell, um, doesn't understand what happened to this, this exciting guy she married, and wants that adventure and excitement back again. Sarah is in some ways the most logical because she's the most removed from this world, so she kind of sees things the way a real person would. You know, to her, it's like, wow, you don't keep dead bodies in your freezer. Red 2 is out in theaters now. Is, is there a hu human being in the trunk? Yeah. So little